everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Juventus against AC Milan. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Looks like a good ball through. Played out to the wing. Chalhanolu. Juventus are on a great run. Five wins in a row. Coaxed out to the wing. Romagnoli hurtles into the tackle. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And here comes the corner. Clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Oh, that was close. Well, this is how to grab a game by the scruff of its neck. Front foot football with real intent. Chalhanolu looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Get a throw in. Juventus have been mighty impressive in defence just recently. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Chalhanolu. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Found his man. Danger averted for now. Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, with this guy and the talent he's got, you know he's probably going to try his look from there, but that one he didn't really get right at all. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. it back the other side yet able to force a breakthrough here lobs it in gently out for a throw pumps it forwards tries a through ball Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Goal, Juventus! Great header, made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Juventus take the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Out to the left it goes. Looks to slip it through. Now the pass. Clears it out of harm's way. It did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Passes 
it through. Chance! Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Looks to slip it through. Referee's had a good look and given a corner. Great leap! Oh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Juventus go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Juventus going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Panucci. Milan has their manager to thank for the last result. Look, to alter the intended game plan was a daring move on the manager's part. It wasn't quite working for him, and he accepted his mistake. And I think what followed merits a lot of praise. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Forward it goes. Tries to dink it in. What a throw in. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Chalhanolu. That's a foul, free kick's been given. <laughs> Juventus have a sub ready to come on. Can he find a finish now? Who's going to make this theirs? Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Tries a long pass towards the front. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. over the line and it is a corner away from immediate danger Good defending all bit had a foul yes the uh, referee's given it. it looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge Maggio. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. A chance! Tries to cut back. Movement there, but not the best of finishes. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. So there's the route one option. It's a long forward pass. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Up for the header! Oh, and that 
should have been two. What a massive let-off that was. They're still in it, but uh, this could be pivotal. delivery and all it needed was a touch yeah I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved he gave it everything he had Juventus take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in Rabio Dybala Juventus still 2 0 up and looking now to see it through. Hits it! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Oh, that could so easily have been game over. There would have been no way back from three behind. Has a pop! They are rampant! And the lead is three! It is surely done! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Juventus take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Now the pass. Pumps it upfield. And it's Maggio. Dybala looking to get on the end of this. It's a loose ball. Can he finish? Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Dinks one in. A decisive action by the goalkeeper. He knew he had to get that done. Tries a through ball. Now can he finish? It's a goal! And they are right back within touch! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know... And that will be the final act. Juventus emerge victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Look, they've got to be happy with what they've produced here because they showed plenty of industry and I think they've ended up getting what they deserve. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin. And good